too. She, like, she punched Thanos right in the face. You're finished. Miss Marvel disappointed me. Now, I'm not saying that the show was bad, just that it did a lot of things that I didn't really like, and overall, it was, well, a disappointment. Now, I want to start this review off by saying that the Miss Marvel show was actually pretty decent. It was really nice to see more representation in media, and I'm happy that people are loving the show. But for me personally, it was disappointing. And while yes, I did enjoy it, and I think that the show was decent, there's just a lot of stuff that it could have done better, and a lot of things that really disappointed me. So today, we're going to talk about that. So why did Miss Marvel disappoint me? Well, there are three key reasons. First, the villain sucked. Secondly, it felt messy, and overall, thirdly, the retcons. To start, let's look at the villains. In the show, we have two main antagonists. Najma, the leader of the Jinn, and Agent Deaver, a damage control leader. Now, while both of them serve their purpose in the story, they just don't feel like characters. Instead, they feel like caricatures. The main villain, Najma, is just cartoonishly evil. She goes from being nice to Miss Marvel to straight up trying to murder her in less than 10 minutes. It's like, hi, Miss Marvel, I'm Najma. I I'd like you to send me back to my universe. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Let me just go to a dance real quick. You want to go to a dance? I'll have time to murder you. I'd say it's rush development, but honestly, it's not development at all. It's just there so Miss Marvel can fight a bad guy. And Agent Deaver, while better, it she's not really a character either. She does whatever the plot needs her to without having any development or personality of her own. Now, that's not to say villains need development. Some great villains are evil from the start of a film to the end of the film. But those villains tend to have a fun personality or something that really draws us to them. And we like to see them be evil. In this show, it's just bad evil. They're evil for evil's sake. They're not fun to watch and it takes away from the show overall. And to really represent this, in the original Miss Marvel comics, Miss Marvel doesn't fight evil aliens or damage control. Instead, she fights a bird with the brain of Thomas Edison, who uses teenagers as batteries to power his evil mech suits. I'm sorry, but the show is just a massive step down from that. We go from evil Thomas Edison bird with teenage powered mechs to e evil alien lady and evil government lady. There's no way you're convincing me this is better. The second issue I had with the show was that it felt messy. What I mean by that is it didn't feel like one cohesive show, instead it felt like two different shows both fighting for the spotlight. A really good Miss Marvel show about fighting for equality and coming into age of a young hero, and a less good evil alien invasion show. What I really think shows this is episode 5. The one where Miss Marvel goes back in time and breaks the rules of Endgame. On its own, this episode is fine and really shows a real world tragedy in a way that doesn't mock it and instead expresses the pain people have faced in a really compelling way. But when looked at it compared to the rest of the show, it just feels so out of place. We have an entire episode dedicated to a flashback of our young protagonist's great grandma. I'm sorry guys, I'm here to watch Miss Marvel, not Miss Marvel's great grandma. It's like you go to see Iron Man and you watch a movie about Iron Man's great grandma. No. Episode 5 just feels so out of context for the show, and really was the turning point that soured a lot of it for me. The evil aliens are just evil, and it could have been a really interesting conflict for Miss Marvel to have to deal with her great grandma's sins, or her great grandma's enemies, but instead, then the aliens are just killed off. What? It, it, if it sounds like this is out of place, yeah, because that's what happens in the show. She goes back in time, helps her, helps her grandma, and then the aliens die. What? Lastly, the major issue, another major issue I had with the show was the whole mutant thing. And I'm going to be brief here because I'm working on another video about this topic, but just... No. If you don't want to do Inhumans, that's fine. But don't do mutants, it's just a messy retcon that annoys me and probably a lot of other fans. Now, I want to make it clear, I do like this show. Miss Marvel is an amazing character and I'm happy she's in the MCU now so many more people can be introduced to her and fall in love with the character. But the show really is just a mixed bag. At its best, it's a phenomenal adaptation of the character that really brings her to life. And the actress playing her did an amazing job. 
everything with her family really does feel great. The interaction she has had with her friends and her crush, it's all really good. But at its worst, it's a stupid mess that doesn't know what to do. The villains are some of the worst in the MCU in my opinion. And that's saying something. Black Widow had horrible villains and this is a contender for that. I think with some more time to rewrite the script and give more development, this show could have rivaled Daredevil or Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The visual style is incredible, and some of the actors are doing amazing here. But as it stands, it's just a decent show. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you like and subscribe, have a nice day, and oh yeah, one last thing. I don't mind the power change. Guys, just, just shut up about the power change. You're allowed to change stuff from the comics as long as it fits the medium you're doing it with. Bye!